Hi, this is Melissa with A Cream Jury with Melissa, and today I'm going to show you something that my husband and my son were amazed at. Um, it's something very simple, very short, very sweet, but it might save you some pain, agony, and defeat. So, basically, long, long, long story short, um, our boys had a problem with their bathroom, and my amazing husband and my amazing oldest son, Christian, um, fixed it which is awesome and I'm very blessed that they're so great that they could do that. It was like a very large project that they thought was going to be small, but one thing didn't fit, one thing broke, well, you know how it works. Anyway, so I was fortunate enough to have them be able to fix it here at our house and didn't have to pay for someone to come do it. However, in doing so, they had to buy some parts and stuff and they always end up coming in these clamshells. And I don't know about you, but they're pretty difficult to deal with. I myself like clamshells because I will reuse them and I will create things with them. I have a few videos done um, in my YouTube videos and my blogs that you can check out um, where I recycle the packaging and utilize it for some type of craft. Um, but with that, so I've done it quite a bit. So with that, um, my husband was struggling trying to cut open this package and I said, here, let me show you my trick. So he said, as did my son Christian, said, you need to do a video on that because that was really crazy fast and easy. And I don't know if people know that. And why don't you do that? So here I am. It's that simple. So typically you'll have clamshell stuff that has like this little part right here like that. Okay. So all I do, and I, like I said, it's really simple. This one happens to have an opening at the top. So you're okay. It's not a big deal as far as that goes. You can pop this up and pull it out. But for demonstration purposes, I'm actually going to cut. So what you do is you just simply cut along the edges. But the cool thing is, is the way I do it, is it actually goes in between my hand and the scissors. So I'm going to show you. Like this. And you see how the piece is right here? If you do that... You can keep yourself from getting cut. Again, see? And then you just keep going. And you kind of can hold on to it. Again, like I said, it's out of your way and not poking you because you know these little buggers like to poke. And then you just keep cutting. Just like keep swimming, like Dory says, only cutting. Because I'm a crafter and that's what I do. So that's it. That is it. That is my demonstration for today. And then you just pop this baby open, oops, and you have it. Now, the one thing my husband did want to add, because his engineering brain does this, is that if you did actually have four sides sealed, if you just cut open on three sides, you could keep it so it would work as a open and close area, but I don't like to keep my packaging in the same way. So in this case, I wouldn't do that, but great idea, just the same. So with that, this is what I do. I keep this plastic here and I utilize it, whether I utilize it for a card, I utilize it for um, embossing. There's all different kinds of things you can do with it. So um, you can make a tag, just make sure that you try to repurpose stuff that you already have. So you don't even know. So remember, take that cool little piece. You're just going to stick it in, when you start cutting, stick it in between the scissors in your hand and you just cut along and it won't poke you because these little buggers are sharp and you're set to go. So I hope you enjoyed this. I realize it's simple and it's fast, but hey, it did the job. And um, we had a plumbing emergency, so I was glad to do a short video for you guys today. I hope you have a fantastic day. Please be sure to check out our website at www.acreativejourneywithmelissa.com or www.acjwm.com. Have a fantastic day, and thank you so much for going on a creative journey with Melissa. Have a good one.